Asus is set to unveil an exciting upgrade to its handheld console lineup with the Asus ROG Ali X. Despite a few software and hardware challenges, the previous generation of Asus consoles has been hailed as one of the best in the market. Join us at Digitech Magazine as we dive into a comprehensive review of this highly anticipated new release. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to subscribe to Digitech Magazine for the latest tech reviews and updates. The new Asus console retains the same CPU and GPU as the 2023 model, featuring the AMD Ryzen Z1 processor. Built on a 4 nanometers architecture and equipped with a 24 megabytes cache, this powerhouse can reach a maximum frequency of 5.1 GHz. The GPU, an AMD RDNA 3, delivers an impressive 8.6 teraflops of processing power, ensuring top-notch performance for gaming enthusiasts. One of the most significant upgrades in the ASUS ROG Ali X is its memory. ASUS has boosted the memory from 16GB LPDDR5 to an impressive 24GB. This increase provides more graphic memory for game processing, enhancing overall performance. Additionally, the effective data rate has jumped from 6400 to 7500 megatransfers per second, resulting in faster data transfer speeds. In the upcoming sections, we'll explore how this memory upgrade impacts game performance. With this change, ASUS now boasts the most powerful memory among handheld consoles. Limited tests have been conducted to compare the performance of the new ASUS console with its predecessor. We will review some of those, but it's important to note that definitive judgments on performance will require the console's official release and further independent testing. All benchmarks were performed at a 1080p resolution. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the new ASUS console averages 56 frames per second, approximately 6% better than the previous model. However, the frame rate occasionally dips to a minimum of 36 frames per second, which remains relatively acceptable. In Cyberpunk 2077, the new ASUS console achieves an average of 48 frames per second, about 9% better than its predecessor. The performance can drop to a minimum of 28, but this is still reasonable given the high graphical demands of Cyberpunk 2077. For Forza Horizon 5, the new ASUS console excels with an average frame rate of 61 frames per second, marking a 16% improvement over the previous generation. Impressively, the frame rate never falls below 60 during this test. In Far Cry 6, the new ASUS console achieves an average of 58 frames per second, about 6% better than its predecessor. The performance can drop to a minimum of 35, but this is still acceptable. For Ghost of Tsushima, the new ASUS console excels with an average frame rate of 65 frames per second, marking a 10% improvement over the previous generation. In this game, the frame rate never falls below 42 during this test. In Hogwarts Legacy, the new ASUS console achieves an average of 51 frames per second, about 9% better than its predecessor. The performance can drop to a minimum of 32, but this is really better than previous model with 23 frames per second. In Horizon Forbidden West, the performance improvement is modest, with the new console showing only a 5% increase in both average and minimum frame rates. Both consoles deliver a satisfactory performance at about 55 frames per second. Finally, in The Last of Us Part 1, the performance of both consoles is quite similar, with an average frame rate of 37. Both consoles drop to a minimum of 17 frames per second, which can negatively impact the gaming experience. This indicates that the memory upgrade does not affect the frame rate in this game. According to these results, we can say that the performance of the new console is completely different from the previous model in different games. However, it can be said that the new console offers an average of about 8% better frame rate. In response to its competitors, Asus has upgraded the storage capacity of its new handheld console to 1 terabyte, up from the 512 gigabytes found in the previous model. 
This substantial increase aligns with industry standards and provides ample space for gamers. The new storage leverages the latest advancements in M2 SSD architecture, positioning the Asus ROG Ali X at the forefront of handheld consoles in terms of storage capacity and speed. One of the biggest weaknesses of the previous Asus handheld console model was its limited battery power. In the new model, Asus has addressed this by doubling the battery capacity. While doubling the capacity doesn't necessarily mean doubling the runtime, battery performance is expected to improve by around 80%. The new model offers approximately 160 minutes of gameplay, up from 90 minutes in the previous version. This significant improvement makes the Asus ROG Ali X a strong contender in the handheld console market. It is worth noting that the console's charger remains unchanged, continuing to use the same 65-watt model as before. Asus has focused on creating a more ergonomic design with the new model, and they have largely succeeded. The new model has a depth of about 4.5 millimeters, which is 14% thicker than the previous model, making it easier for gamers to hold comfortably. While the weight of the new model is 678 grams, about 12% heavier than its predecessor, the improved design ensures that it is less tiring for the user's hands during extended gameplay sessions. The display of the Asus ROG Ali X remains consistent with the previous model, offering a 120Hz refresh rate and full HD resolution. The key improvement in the new generation display is its enhanced outdoor visibility. Asus has significantly reduced the amount of light reflection from 4% to less than 0.6%, making it much easier to see the screen clearly in bright environments. Asus is set to launch its new console with a price tag of $800, which is $100 more than its predecessor. This positions the new Asus console among the more expensive handheld consoles on the market, alongside the MSI Claw. However, Asus justifies this increase by adding significant upgrades, 512GB of additional storage, doubled battery capacity, 8GB more RAM, and a more ergonomic design. These enhancements contribute to offering better value for money compared not only to its predecessor but also to other competitors. The new console is scheduled to be released on July 22, 2024, according to the latest updates. The launch of the Asus ROG Ali X console demonstrates Asus' attentiveness to user feedback from the previous model, resulting in significant improvements. It's fair to assert that the new console stands as one of the most comprehensive and top-tier handheld consoles available today. Enhancements such as increased memory, improved design and ergonomics, and enhanced battery capacity highlight Asus' commitment to refining their product. However, the console's $800 price tag may deter potential buyers, considering it equates to the cost of a ninth-generation desktop console and monitor setup. In conclusion, if you're in the market for a premium handheld console and haven't yet made a purchase, the Asus ROG Ali X is certainly a top contender. However, if you currently own a handheld console, especially the previous Asus model, the changes in the new console may not justify an immediate upgrade.